That was Imagine Dragons with Radioactive. Hello and welcome to Radioactive with me, Kieran Flynn. Joining me on today's show... Britt Medley, how are we all? Carmen, Terry, hope everyone has a good lunch. Josh Collins, good day everyone. On today's show we have a classic track from Mario Speedwagon, our new and improved game Taste That Cake, and of course raising money for children in need. Let's crack on with the next song, this is Mr. Probs with Waves on the Radioactive. My face above the water My feet can't touch the ground Touch the ground and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon at time You are not around So we drift away Wave after wave Wave after wave so we drifted And it feels like a drowning Pulling against the street Pulling against the street was Mr. Mr. Probs with, with waves on stratcast.co.uk. It's now time for our new and improved game mode. How oh, I've been looking forward to this. It is Taste That Cake. For this section of the show, I'll be handing over to Brit, who is also so looking forward to this. <laughs> OK, Kieran, I have made several special cakes that you have to try and guess what the unique topping is. So here is your first cake that looks absolutely lovely, may I just say to everyone. Um, absolutely beautiful. It just looks like your, your box standard fairy cake. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would you, you reckon it is? Is that lime? <laughs> it's, it's actually lemon, lemon juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about the lemon juice? It was, it was, it, it was a year and a half out of date. Beautiful. Yeah, move on to your next, next one, which actually, actually looks like it has sugar all over it, just for the viewers. But uh, don't take a big bite out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that tastes like? You know, you know when you go to the seaside and you take a picnic and then you open it up and somehow, even though you've put hand locks and everything on it, you've still got salt and sand in it. Do you know what that tastes like? Even when you go to the seaside and that is salt. Is that salt? Yeah, that's salt, Kieran. Well done, you got one right. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> next one. Yeah, next one. This one just looks like it's got gunpowder all over <laughs> no. <laughs> Josh, do you want to try a bit? No, I shouldn't have been there. He doesn't want to try that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh what what, what would you say that one is, Kieran? Beautiful. I'm going with. 
<laughs> that was pepper. Well, well done. Too right. right. No, no, you, that, the amount of pepper on that. <laughs> Burn in the back of my throat. <laughs> it, happened, it happened to me once when I had my fish and chips, a bit of salt on the, <laughs> bit of salt and pepper on the fish, and uh, the lid fell off the pepper. That's what it tastes like. Too much pepper on there. Yeah, come on, next one, right? This one just looks like jam. It looks like jam. Anyway, can I try it? Am I allowed? Yeah, of course, of course. You have to say one, two, say one, two, three, go. Add a bit of amusement. One, two, three, go. <laughs> if you need to spit it out, spit it out. <laughs> beautiful, by the way, really beautiful cake. Not about the stuff on, but the texture. Come on. Beautiful. It's like waves in your mouth, that. Huh? I'm like Greg off Master Chef. <laughs> anyway. That, that was very tomato. tomato. It's like tomato, tomato puree or something like that. Tomato sauce, but I'll give you that one. Will you? Yeah. yeah. Right, right, the, the last, last one, which... <laughs> show, show the viewers, show the viewers. Look at this bad boy. Look at that. Anyway. Do you want to try a bit of this one, Josh? Go on, then. Go on. Make sure you don't get any on here. And Akira's got to do some as well. Mmm! Anyway. That's... <laughs> what would you say that is? Do you want to guess this one? No, 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 no I won't let you yeah. get this one. No, no, they're nasty. nasty. <laughs> I am not a clue. Do you know? That is the, that is the worst one, man. Mm. No, no, I can't, I don't know. Would you like me to tell you? Would you like me to tell you? That was seafood sauce, or also known as Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how many did I guess, by the way? You got three right. Three? Wow. Oh. Anyway, moving on. Thanks for those lovely cakes, Britt. Tune in tomorrow. For, for the, the same, same uh, game, game with different, different cakes, cakes. Again, again, I'll be put under pressure to try those cakes yet again. Now, now as I said, at the start of the show, the main aim is to raise money for children in need. To donate, visit www.childreninneed.co.uk. On that website, you can find many... I've still got that food in my mouth. On that website, you can find many different ways to give money, including text, PayPal, online, and by post. Just click on the individual links to get the method that suits you, To find to, and also to find out all more information, or... If, if you'd like, like, you can, can go, go onto our Stratford, Stratford College Just Giving page at www. This is a mouthful. Listen, get your pen and pad ready. www.justgiving.com. Wait, forward slash Stratcast does children in need. The BBC's first broadcast appeal for children in need was successfully five minutes radio show on, of Christmas Day, 1927. Since then, technology has developed, and in 1980, the first television broadcast for children need was broadcast to the public. Since that date, a total of £740 million has been raised. Anyway, thanks guys for that. Just a few facts and figures to give you an idea of how children in need is continuing to develop and get bigger every year. To reiterate, visit www.childreninneed.co.uk to donate and find out more information about methods of donation. Tomorrow night is Children in Need. Tune in to BBC One at 7.30 to watch a jam-packed, fun-filled show hosted by many stars, including Tess Day and, of course, the mighty Terry Wogan. Anyway, let's have the chat. Let's get down to this one, ladies and gents, wherever you are. Get boogie in. <laughs> this is Guru and Josh Project with Infinity 2008 on Radioactive. Here's my key, philosophy. A freak like me just needs infinity. Relax. Take your time.
infinity. If freak like me, just needs infinity. Listening to Radioactive on Stratcast.co.uk. That was Guru Josh Project with Infinity 2008. You'll have to excuse me, I've still got pepper in my mouth, but oh well. Tune in tomorrow around the college and online, same time, same place, for our second Children in Need show, which I promise, yes, I promise you will be just as exciting. As I, earlier, as I said earlier on, tomorrow is the big day. Children in Need is arriving in town with events taking place across the college, over Stratford and, of course, nationwide. I won't give too much away, but keep an eye out when you are out and about for weird and wacky activities going on. Make sure you have a few loose pennies to hand to put into one of our many buckets that we'll be carrying around with us throughout the day. Now... We, we all went out, out during the week to, to get, get your view on children, children in need. Who do you most enjoy about children in need? It's, it's very funny. funny. It's, it's extremely, extremely humorous. humorous. Yeah. And uh, it, it makes me laugh because it's so strange what they do yeah. to raise money. So, yeah. How are you supporting children in need this year? Sending, Sending money. money. Sending money. Yes, that's the basic thing. Yes. Who do you most enjoy watching on children in need? Oh, I can't pick. There's so many. <laughs> Like, do you prefer watching like, the extenders bit or when they just do funny things, really? I ca- yeah, I catch um, as much as, bit as I can, yeah. both the, the, the main event and um, any sort of particular little, little event that they do as well. So. And why do you think Children in Need is important? For the money they raise, for an extremely good cause. Sadly, it's, uh, it's, it's necessary, but it's done. So, yeah. What do you most enjoy about Children in Need? Um, well, it's the amount of money they raise, it's very entertaining, and because I work with children, I'm a children's entertainer, so it's quite, uh, something quite close to my heart. So, yeah. How would you support Children in Need this year? Um, I usually give a donation of some sort. So. And who do you most enjoy watching on Children in Need? Who's your favourite celebrity? Um, Terry Wogan's always funny. Isn't Terry Wogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do like him. Yeah. yeah. And why do you think Children in Need is important? It just raises awareness, and obviously the money it raises raises as well. So, combination of the two things really. What do you most enjoy about Children in Need? Uh, it's probably the opportunity to help others, which uh, you know usually most top round any time of the year. You can't kind of forget about. Uh, what other people are going through, so it always gives you that opportunity to give uh, to a needy cause. How are you supporting children in need this year? Uh, well, in the store, we'll probably uh, do some fundraising, either uh, dress up on the day or uh, prolonged, uh, maybe a raffle, something like that, just extended fundraising basically. What, what do you most enjoy, enjoy about children in need? Uh, me personally, I like the uh, televised uh, coverage. Yep. I like all the different, you know, seeing the reaction from the audience. I like seeing how much people have raised, how they go to different areas and hold up the checks and watching it all mount up and everything. And that, that's my favourite part of it. Yeah. And how are you supporting children in need? Um, I will probably make a donation on the night. Yeah. And, and what, what do you, you most enjoy, enjoy watching Children in Need? 
Um, I like uh, Terry Wogan. Yeah. And what do you think children is important? It's, it's just vital that we, you know, don't overlook um, certain people that, that might somehow get, you know, like forgotten. And it's just so nice, some of these obscure, tiny little... Um, places etc uh, get some extra funding so that they can uh, help people thanks for everyone who gathers their opinions uh, views and opinions on children in need yes thank you very much may i welcome louise from the bbc midland today if you're watching online on the webcam you'd have noticed that louise has come in with a camera to film us nervous times and of course we've got our friends from all the other shows soundwave cloud nine Prime, Prime sound. sound. Did, Did I get all that right? And Batman. Batman. Absolutely beautiful. Batman, Batman, of course. Not forgetting Batman. Batman. Anyway, anyway, time for our next song, I think. We've, we've done way, 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 way too much talking today. today. I suppose I'll treat you then, shall I? This next one is Lily Wood, Prayer in C on stratcast.co.uk. What a great <laughs> tune. Absolutely brilliant. Again, to donate, visit www.childreninneed.co.uk to find out about ways to donate. Also, we have a Just Giving page, which is www.justgiving.com. Get your pan, ped, pens and pads for this one because you need to get it down. www.justgiving.com forward slash stratcast does children in need. 
Remember, Remember to tune in tomorrow, tomorrow same, same time and same place for our second Children in Need show broadcast around the college and online at stratcast.co.uk. Also at 7.30 tomorrow night is the BBC One for, for the special annual Children in Need hosted by many celebrities including Terry Wogan. The show includes many stars, including an excellent, uh, excellent sketch from Albert Square. Also, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory hits the West End. And not forgetting a you cool enough p- performance from One Direction. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all that plus much, much more on BBC One 7.30 tomorrow night. Ladies and gentlemen, And we have unfortunately come to the end of our show. I'll do it for an hour, but uh, <laughs> we try it again. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our show. Oh, there you go. Remember to listen tomorrow, same time, same place. We'll be entertaining you with another edition of Taste That Cake, featuring the official, yes, the official Children in Need song, conducted by the wonderful Gareth Malone, and we'll also be celebrating the return of a truly excellent prop group, pop group, excuse me, that Pepper's getting to me, who are making their comeback from a decade absent from the spotlight. From us all here at Radioactive, it is goodbye. To play us out, this is Ario Speedwagon with Keep On Loving You on stratcast.co.uk. Have a good afternoon. Goodbye. Great tune, absolutely, absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Again, visit www.childreninneed.co.uk to find out about ways to donate. Just click the donate link found on the homepage to find all the details there. Remember to tune in tonight at 7.30, BBC One for the special annual Children in Need show hosted by many celebrities. Tonight's show includes many stars, including an excellent sketch from Albert Square. Also, Charlie, Charlie and the Chocolate, Chocolate Factory hits, hits the West End. End. And not forgetting a unique one-off performance from One Direction. All that plus much, much more on BBC One. 7.30 tonight. Okay, some light traps, maybe don't move. Let's go move. Let's go move. Do you want me to say tonight again? Uh, same again. We're just having a bit more animated. We're just going to cheat it. Go crazy with this one. So. Okay, some light traps. Okay, and tonight on BBC One, we've got children in the league.